Hi, I'm Ellen. Um, and welcome to episode three of my YouTube videos. I'm going to switch gears today and talk about bugs. I grew up in uh, Williams, Virginia, just outside of Pittsburgh, and I don't remember as a kid ever encountering bugs in the house other than maybe daddy long legs or some spiders or ants sometimes, but or maybe that was because I was a kid, but I don't remember dealing with bugs, and I, I know my parents were would have been crazy if there was a bug in the house anyway. Um, but when I moved to Florida in 1976, I uh, learned about bugs. <laughs> and that there's a, a bug in Florida called a palmetto bug that's like a monster. Uh, uh, and I can remember just after moving down here, my, my roommate and I um, had settled in for the night and I heard her yelling from her bedroom down the hall that, um, there was a bag on her dresser and it was moving around and oh there was a bug and I see her go running down the hall out of her room and as I got up I saw the palmetto bug running down the hall behind her <laughs> and I got to the kitchen and she or that's not the kitchen but the living room and she was standing on the couch and the bug was flying around yes they fly so that was the first lesson in uh, palmetto bugs are not an easy uh, kill <laughs> when you try to, if you see one and you try to just step on it, forget it, because they are faster than uh, coyotes, I swear. They they take off, and uh, so you have to be prepared to deal with them, and I've spent a lifetime, um, like everybody, just um, spraying your house, bombing your house, doing the pest control thing to make sure that you never encounter bugs in your house, and it is, you know, pretty big problem in Florida, but living with toxic chemicals. And as I've gotten older, that's really become important to me to give a thought to that. Like, how can I be safer and healthier? So somewhere along the way, I learned this little tip and I make my own bug spray now. It's um, Dr. Bronner's peppermint soap. Let's see where I can get it in here. Um, that you can just buy that. I usually find it at the health food store. And um, and I bought my little bottle and create my own little uh, spray bottle with water and about 10 drops of peppermint soap creates a good spray. And uh, instead of having the bug man come out or even, you know, myself spraying my house with toxic chemicals, I just spray with my little concoction I make here. And I don't see bugs, except that occasionally... Uh, the palmetto bugs, no matter how clean you are, no matter how hard you try, will come into your house in grocery bags or boxes or when the weather is dry and they're looking for water. So uh, I discovered one night I came home and, and turned on the kitchen light and there was one on my kitchen counter. <laughs> and uh, just luckily my little trusty little bottle was sitting on the counter and I, I just grabbed it and sprayed him and he went belly up. Belly up. Now, um, normally you can spray a bug with an industrial strength bug spray, and it's still going to take off running. Now, it's going to die, but you're going to have to find it and <laughs> figure out where it went to die. Or this, it belly up. It's amazing, and it's non-toxic, all natural. And I was talking to somebody who's a professional in the industry with uh, natural um, bug solutions, and he said that uh, with the bed bug problem that's happening right now, a lot of nursing homes are running into this problem and, and wanting self safer alternatives. And the solution they use is actually a pe peppermint oil base. And it's very good for that. So uh, makes sense. But anyway, that's what I found works for me. So I'm not inhaling all those toxic chemicals. And uh, that's my tip for today. So bye now.